Hello and welcome to SourceFed. My name is Elliot Morgan. Joe Beretta. It's 2012, fools, which means we're almost three years away from the energy deadline set in place by Doc Brown in 1985 when he catapulted Marty McFly 30 years into the future. I'm, of course, talking about the hoverboard, but right now there is no real hoverboard, and this isn't a story about hoverboards. It's actually something even cooler because it's the type of development that could lead to sustainable energy changes. Yay! None of that super expensive crap that won't get us anywhere in the immediate future. Elliot's talking about the scientist over at Stanford University who took it upon themselves to create the first solar cell made entirely of carbon. A professor of chemical engineering Xenon Bao stated carbon has the potential to deliver high performance at a low cost. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first demonstration of a working solar cell that has all of the components made of carbon. Ooh, so what's the difference? Why is this a big deal? Why do you care? Well, normally solar panels are these rigid silicon things, not the, the thin film that was developed in these scientists' labs. There are these flexible films that are made up of this carbon material that can be coated. This coating technique will reduce costs, and while that may not sound as cool as a hoverboard, there's a big difference between like really cool but too expensive to be a reality type stuff and then small developments that lead to big change. This cell has a photoactive layer, the part that absorbs sunlight between two electrodes. Typically, these electrodes are made up of the same stuff that's used to make touch screens, idium tin oxide. There's just one problem with idium tin oxide. It's used in touch screens. And since Apple being Apple keeps on releasing touch screens of various sizes, like, but this one's smaller. That material is growing more and more expensive. Carbon, on the other hand, is freaking everywhere, and it's freaking cheap. So far, traditional solar technology is far more efficient than this carbon-based type. But in the future, the ability for this new stuff, what with it being made of carbon, to withstand high temperatures and extreme conditions might actually overcome the efficiency deficit. Carbon's gonna rule the world. Yeah. yeah. The bottom line here is that a lot of common sense is happening. Namely, we have this huge ball above us that is constantly shooting energy right at our planet. Our job is to figure out how to harness that energy. Photovoltaics will definitely be a very important source of power that we will tap into in the future. We have a lot of available sunlight. We've got to figure out some way to use this natural resource that is given to us. If you could only invent one thing to save the world, and it could be anything, what would it be? Tell us in the comments section down below. Boom, like, boom, subscribe, click annotation for more video news, sourcefed.com for all types of news. I am Joe Beretta. I am Elliot Morgan, and we'll see you in just a bit.